Hey guys, welcome back for another video of vlog gameplay. Part of the video, I have a game laptop, video of me, talk about stuff I want to see. And this is going to be the, late, the last vlog play, gameplay for 5.3. Next one is going to be Tuesday, 5.4. The, the, probably the, the patch is not even going to be uh, you know out and playable by the end of time, but I'll be able to talk about some of the news nonetheless. Um, let's finish up with some of the latest updates for 5.4, shall we? So, Thomas Isle is going to be a place that's going to open in 5.4 that's literally going to be loaded with loot from every kind of mob you can see. And it's pretty much made there just to help players be able to gear up before they head out into the real thing. Be able to catch up to the buddies, to the guildmates, to whatever. And be able to go in PvP arenas, um, PvE raiding, such as that. Anything you, anything you, mind, you can put your mind to. So, what do you guys think about the uh, Talmas Isle? Well, personally, I don't like leveling or gearing alts, so this will be great for me. But what do you guys think? Do you think this kind of takes out some of the effort of uh, becoming level 19 and working for the gear? Or is it just a great idea that Blizzard created to make some sweet shortcuts? Let me know. Next one. Some of the latest patch 5.4 updates is Frost Death Nets are getting buffed, so with Frost Strike and Obliterate. And let's scroll down to find some of the other ones. Rogues are getting a uh, change of the glyph of redirect. Instead of having no cooldown, it's going to be 50 second reduction. So every 10 seconds you can use redirect, which will be kind of nice and will make gameplay for rogues a little more uppity, I feel like in my opinion. Shamans, they actually got anti nerf with uh, Lava Lash and Lava Burst. They were nerfed, but now they're back up to their full speed. So LA Shamans will be praised for the change. And I believe Warriors have a change. Slam Knight deals 25% more damage, but Rage costs 25% more. So they kind of had the Hunter and the Rogue effect where the damage from one of the abilities increased, but the cost of the ability increased as well. So what do you guys think about that if you're a Warrior? What do you think about some of the, uh, like the Hunter effect, the Rogue effect, now the Warrior effect of ability damage increase and energy or uh, resource increase more of it? Let me know in the comments below. And I guess Lastly, I want to talk about the uh, actual patch 5.4. Um, let's see, okay, so this is done with this, and this is done with this link right here. Alright, so what do you guys think about patch 5.4? Other than being the historical garage killing patch that's gonna be making the Miss Padero what it is, what do you guys think of it? What do you guys want it? Do you guys don't want it to happen? <laughs> it's gonna happen anyway, but tell me, guys, what you think about 5.4 and this coming out. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.